Hello, Bob. All right, this video is for you. It's to show you how do I record videos using ASACAP or ASICAP. So first I'm gonna load up the program by going to ASI Studio right here. You can also type in in the search bar right here, ASI, and it should show up with Studio, ASI Studio right there. I'm gonna load that up. This is a parent program that contains other programs for capturing images and videos. The one that I use, the only one I use, is this one right here, ASICAP, Planetary Imaging. I use this for my deep sky images as well. Let's open that now. I'm, I'm sure the other programs are really good. Um, this is just the one that I know how to use. And you know me, I like to keep it simple. Okay, so here's my ASI120MC. This is the camera that you'll be using for your auto guider but you can also use it for capturing videos and taking photos of planets and stuff. So the camera is already connected to my telescope. Let's see if I can show you that. Here's the camera. Here's my Mead ETX 80 right now. And there's the focusing knob that I'm going to be playing around with. And that's how you focus the camera is actually by adjusting the focus of the telescope. Okay. So the camera's in, it's got the plug in, it's plugged into my computer right now. I'm going to go ahead and enable that by clicking this button right here, connect the camera. And if you don't see it, you can go to this drop down menu and select it. There it is. It connected. And right now it's aiming out a window at a tree. And again, I'll show you how the focus is done. Here's the telescope. There's what the telescope's seeing. And then if I mess with the focus, now it's out of focus. Let's go back. That's pretty good. Okay. As good as it gets when you're looking out a window. <laughs> All right. Um, now, the settings here are very basic. You, you don't mess, need to mess with anything, really. The If you do, just set it to RAW 8 for the format. Okay, come back. Right here under image settings, and just, just leave everything the way it is. Histogram, you're going to want your red, green, and blue channels to be sort of like this. Uh, a nice bump on all of them and only taking up about one third or about one half of the entire histogram. Let's mess with this here. I'm going to mess with the exposure, increase the exposure. And you can see that the red, green, and blue channels are now extending. You can see that the blue is now completely off. We've overexposed the blue and it looks like that in the background. And I can drop that to the exposure settings and it becomes very dark. Now, if you were recording a video of a planet or the moon, you might want to use a low exposure setting just because uh, the air will be making the object appear very blurry. And so sometimes you might get really clear spots through the air, some clear seeing conditions and having a low exposure setting or a fast exposure setting will help you capture those clear moments and we'll use that for stacking later on. So I'm just going to drop my exposure here just to demonstrate that. And what you can do to make it brighter is use the gain. The gain right here, if you increase it, will make your image brighter, but it'll also make it noisier. You can see that there's some noise coming up. You can actually see some hot pixels there. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'm using this zoom button here at the top right. And you can see, yeah, like this blue dot isn't moving. Neither are these blue dots. I think these are potentially dead pixels on the sensor itself. And those come out when you increase your gain. And then they can also come out when you increase your exposure. But all right, now I'm going to get my histogram back to where I want it. And that's just how to make the adjust those settings. And, and that's really all you want to do for your, your videos um, is just to adjust your exposure and your gain. You can mess with these other settings and I'll show you how to do that in another video and why you'd want to do that. But this is just a real simple way to get your camera ready for capturing some videos. Next, down here under the capture settings, you'll see that there is a limit to how many frames you can record. Also, there's this thing, raw data. I'm going to unselect that for now because I want to show you how to capture just a basic AVI. 
Now I'm going to set my limit to how many frames I have to no limit. It's just going to record however many frames there are that I have, and it'll stop recording once I hit the stop button, and that's how many frames I'll get. Let's do it. I'm going to hit the record button now, start to capture video. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to stop the video. Looks like we captured a successful video. And let's see where that video was saved. You can actually find it right here by clicking this little button called Open the Directory with the Saved Images and Videos. I'm going to click that. And this is the directory that it saved my video into. And it saved it into a subfolder here called Cap Objective or Cap Obj. I'm going to open that in a second. Open. And here's the video folder that was created. I'm going to open that. And here's our video that we just recorded. I'm going to put this into a new folder. I'm going to call it AVI, just to stay organized. And there it is. That's the simplest, that's the simplest type of video that you can record using this program. Now I'm going to show you how to record a raw video. And that's this button right here. You select raw data, and there it is. You are now going to record a raw video. Let's do that. I'm going to hit the record button. Down here, you can see some information about the recording. You can see how fast uh, it's saving to your hard drive, how, how big the chunks are that are being saved. I guess this is uh, how, many, how big each individual frame might be is 33 megabytes. And our entire video size right now is about 738 megabytes, 771. Uh, it's got currently 773 frames captured. And we've done this for 30 seconds. Let's stop that. And here's our video right there. Look at that. The raw ones are in black and white, and they look a little funky. But I think that they provide better stacking results. And we'll go over stacking another time. But this is another type of video. The second type of video that you could record is a raw AVI. And now for the third type of video, here, I'm going to put this into a folder just so we know. Raw. And there they are. OK, the last type of video that I wanted to show you how to record is a Sir video. And how you do that is by coming up to here under images or image and then select the format and go to raw 16 and with raw 16 enabled it automatically selects the raw data you can't turn that off that option off we're still going to leave our limit at no limit let's start recording and you can see that the rate the uh, the size of each frame is much larger it's recording a bigger video now. Um, we're only at oh, 13. It's even causing my computer to lag a little. 15 seconds and it's already at a gig in file size. So I'm going to stop this video. Now, here's our new video, uh, the dot serve video, S-E-R. These are the best, I feel like, for capturing videos of the moon and the planets. However, you can't just open up one of these files like you could an AVI. See, I can just open up this AVI and it'll start playing for me. That's really cool. But these SIR videos, you will need to process them in some way to watch them or get a SIR player of some sort. But that's that. So. There you go. That's how to record videos using ASI CAP, and I hope this video helps you. Good luck.